Thanks for watching Middle Class to Millionaire. This is my first video for it. Um, I want to talk about the five things that keep middle class income earners from becoming millionaires and uh, what I'm going to do about it. So I'm uh, basically, I'm, I'm tired of building someone else's empire. I've had a lot of good jobs. I've done a lot of different things. Um, most of it's been sales related. And I just, I want to go where I want and do what I want and not have to worry about how many sick days do I have left on the calendar and, um, you know, if I take that day off, am I still going to make any money or more importantly, I've started noticing um, how many businesses there are in like the Phoenix area and every single one of those has an owner and somebody that's making money off of them and why not me? Why is that not me? Um, so... Every one of those has someone that stepped out and said, you know what, I'm going to start something and I'm going to make it great. And they've got people working for them, making them money. So I just, I see it and I want a part of it. Now, every time I see a nice car drive by as well, I think to myself, what's that person doing that I'm not doing? Um, I've come to find there are two answers to that. Number one, they're living like they have money, but they really don't have any money. They're just leveraged out. Everything's on loans. They've got payments for everything, and they're just trying to live big, um, but they don't really have any true wealth. Or um, they own a business, a su successful business, and I want to be part of that group. So I've been doing some studying, and the five things that have kept me and a lot of other middle-class people out of the millionaire bracket is that, number one... We fear um, living on the streets or living with considerably less than we have. Um, that's one reason why these rags to riches stories, they're great. They're awesome to read because you feel great when you see someone succeed that's had it so, so bad. But I think that's why it's more common to see those than to see like a middle class person become a millionaire because, um, well, for one, it's not sensational, but for two, um, we, we get fearful about you know, what would life be like if this thing was a bust? And when you've lived on the bottom, when you've lived in the worst conditions, when you've had no home or lived in your car, you're not afraid of that stuff. You've had to beg for food. You know what it's like. You've done it. For those of us that live in a house and have a couple cars or whatever it is and, and a steady job, it's scary. And so we don't want to go down that road. So that fear puts in us. Um, the, other, the second thing is, is um, we are complacent and secure with where we are. You know, we make enough money to live comfortably. Why would we want to, we want to disrupt that for the chance at making more? Um, and, you know, just it, it's not a primary thought to us. The third thing is middle class people are not typically just doers. Um, you know, we have good ideas or, you know, but we don't think them through or we overthink them, um, but we don't just get out and start doing it. Um, and it's from what I've seen from a lot of the wealthy, they just do it. They have an idea and they're like, well, let's do it. Um, how much should we spend or should we do this type of marketing or that type of marketing? Well, let's just throw some spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. Like, let's just, we'll try that one. And if we well, suck at it, then it was a waste of money. We'll try that one, you know, but they're not afraid to waste the money and then try again with something else. It just, it doesn't matter. Money's not really an object to them. It's just like a method. Um, the fourth thing is, um, as middle class, we don't seem to break things down into bite-sized pieces that makes it simpler and easier for us to get. We just look at the big picture and go, well, I want to be rich. How am I going to be rich? Well, I could start a car company. Well, shoot, I'd have to like buy all these cars and manage people and blah, blah, blah. And, okay, maybe not. Uh, well, what else could I do? And we don't really break it down to like easier stuff. Um, so... Break it down into bite-sized pieces, things that you can understand. So if I want to start a business, I'm going to have to get software. I'm going to have to buy a truck. I'm going to have to um, put a rig in the truck. I'm going to have to probably get uh, some lettering on the truck to make it, you know, my logo. I'll have to have a logo made. I'll have to make some shirts. Um, I get, I'll get licensed, insurance, and I just list those things out. And then I go one step down from that. Okay, insurance. Let's get some quotes on insurance. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, next thing, uh, let's make a logo. I can go to this place the, or this place or this place and get a logo and it's cheap. Um, next place, uh, shirts. So you break it down into bite-sized pieces and then break those things down and then even break some of those down smaller if you need to. Um, it makes it more easy to progress your idea and then get going on it. Um, the fifth and most important thing to me is 
that keeps people from moving into the millionaire status is just fear. It's fear. I am afraid that um, I won't be able to feed my family. I'm afraid that this is too much of a risk. I'm afraid that if I quit my job, I'll lose my benefits and something bad will happen. I'm afraid whatever it is. Um, that fear really restricts us as, as people. Um, and it, it, it restricts everybody, including millionaires, but in a different way for them. You know, people that have gotten big businesses set up. So, um, and then the sixth thing, well, actually, there was five things to become millionaire. The, the sixth thing to me is um, I'm making this as a video series so that you guys can kind of learn from my mistakes and the things that either I'm afraid of, I've made mistakes doing, or even see some of my successes. So follow me as I break through these five stopping points to wealth and watch me succeed or fail or fail. Um, as I learn from my mistakes, and maybe you can learn from my mistakes too. Um, if anything, maybe I can help you not make the same mistakes. So hopefully I can guide you guys through um, my struggles and my path, and you can see someone actually do it from the beginning, and um, you know see what it takes to make, make yourself wealthy. Um, so I'll make a lot more videos, so be sure to subscribe, um, like this video, share it. Let's let other people follow this journey and hopefully more people will be able to step out of their day job and go, you know what, let's, let's make something great. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll just say thanks ahead of time. Um, hopefully this makes a difference for you.